being like nature. So, in other words, when you do something so well, what do people call you? They say, wow, he's a natural. She's a natural. And what that really means is that you have the characteristics of nature. Because no one has to tell a flower which direction to grow. Right? A squirrel is born, born knowing how to build a nest. You don't have to teach a bird how to sing. It doesn't have to go to music school to learn to sing. They're just natural qualities. And when you possess that quality, someone calls you a natural. And that's what we're all trying to be, is natural. So whether you know it or not, we're all trying to be like nature. So to, so to not pay attention and learn about, and to even go as far as to kill what we're trying to become, is really killing ourselves. And here's the scary part for me, a skill like this that he just stated is over 100,000 years old. I was speaking with another naturalist who I had come and talk to us at one of our camps, and he pointed out that we are the first generation of people to not know these skills. I'll say it again. We are the first generation of people to not know these skills. You know, and I believe that we're here at, 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 at uh, at summer camp, you know, with a bunch of educated people, I look around at the booths and the things that they're talking about. You know, create, creating energy with bicycles and, and planting gardens and things like that. It's a wonderful thing. So I think we are the select few that kind of really got it going on in this tent right here. I appreciate that. But we have to lead by example and do things that are going to help us all and try our best to use a native philosophy that I actually learned from his father. They said when the native councils used to get together, that basically were their governments, when they had to decide on anything about their society, they would try their best to see how their decision, the decision they would make today, they tried to see how that was going to affect the next seven generations of their people. So I'll say that again too. The decision that they were going to vote on that day, they had to figure out how it was going to affect the next seven generations of their people. And if they couldn't see a, power, a, a positive influence on the next seven generations, they wouldn't, they wouldn't vote on it. And uh, you know, I could just imagine our governments doing that. You know, in some cases they. They're not even thinking how it's going to go tomorrow. It's just... Hey, but, uh, go ahead.